What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Fallout London. I'm not gonna lie to you, this kind of dropped out of nowhere. I remember seeing this a while back, and then forgot all about it, and then all of a sudden, it popped up all over YouTube, which means it's time to check it out. But you're not here to listen to me talk, you're here to be entertained. The name's Mad Max, and I hope you enjoy the show. get to go ahead and do this now. Subject has been performing adequately. No spikes in visuals. Nothing unusual. Perfectly usual. Quiet. Smythe will be pleased. How are they in appearance? I'm certain. Perhaps we should take a closer examination. Excellent. A rapid progress is being made, and with zero anomaly. Of course. Now, what about their physical and mental development? Oh, snap. Well, we gotta go with Max. Alright, that'll work. Oh, my. <laughs> uh, gifted. I don't really do any of these. Do I have to do them? Your body's a temple, plus one strength and endurance. This is reversed if the player drinks alcohol, uses chems. Okay, I don't typically do that, so sure. We'll go Puritan. Sleepwalker sounds awesome. We're gonna be a sleepwalker. Uh. Gentlemen, <laughs> I trust everything is going well. This dude sounds like a mad scientist. So. In fact, it may be our best work yet. Good. The subject looks ready for conditioning. Within a week or so, we can wrap up phase one. Thank you, sir. I'll set phase one on autopilot. Uh -oh. See that it's done. That didn't sound good. What's autopilot mean? Hey, sir, help. Help. Seems to be rousing a bit. So rousing. Oh, Let's put them back under. <gasps> what? Just <laughs> happened. Get me out. <gasps> oh god, get me out. Oh! That was so much better than anything Bethesda has ever done. Oh no. I kind of like these guys. They seem kind of cool. Codfather. Oh. What do we do? I didn't read what it said to do. <laughs> I guess we just need to leave. But what about this way? This is where they came in at. Oh, you're not doing that. <gasps> I literally almost got shot by crossfire. Oh no. I don't like it. We're gonna run into something we don't want to run into.
Uh, I don't have a gun. What is that? T-shirt and slacks? Sure. Oh, thank you for playing our mod. Thank you to our Patreon and Ko-Fi supporters. Awesome. What is that? A bone cutter. Ooh, bobby pins. Mission. Unauthorized content. Oh my, what is happening? I can't read that. Everything says, it says redacted and it's all in Spanish. I have redacted and corrupted your file. Well, that doesn't sound nice. The troopers have secured us a batch of their red shrews for testing. I would have preferred working with rad rats, but it seems they were chased off by their counterparts. Judging by the size of the rad shrews in London Bridge Station, I don't entirely blame them. Testing on the captured rad shrews is going well. Multiple have died, but the remaining ones are stronger than ever. Especially proud of the one we affectionately refer to as Big Dave. I'm now going to move us on to the next stage of development, which will introduce more vitamins into their diet. We'll also simultaneously reduce their feed to see how they cope. I predict a lot of them will die, so we better get the nets ready to capture some more. Interesting. I like reading, you guys know that. Smythe should have been consent with the results. Progress has been made and exciting new things have been discovered. Not only did the rad truce surpass expectations, but some of the results correlated with our prize subjects next door. Utterly fabulous to see it all coming together. With any luck, Smythe will visit the laboratory soon and see our progress. That was it. A rad true, a small carnivorous animal. The rad true seems to have mutated from its much smaller counterpart, the common true. Unlike the common true, which was insectivorous, its evolution along with the food chain now permits it to hunt much larger prey. The rad shrew has tiny eyes and a large nose giving it a keen sense of smell. Rad shrews shuffle through the undergrowth for their prey and can be found in most habitats, but prefer dirt, flooring, woodland, and grassland. Active by day and night, they are very territorial and aggressive for their size and can sometimes be heard fighting. Their high-pitched squeaks particularly noticeable during the summer. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. Oh. Oh no! Pick up the device. <gasps> Where's the device? I'm about to get eaten. Oh, no. Dude, that was crazy. These little rats came at me. You saw it? Dude, I don't have a weapon or anything. I can't even get into my inventory, I don't think. This is going to be really fun if I can't get into my inventory. Let's go pick this up, though. I don't know if I care for this whole Freemason thing that's on this. I do like the Pit Boy, though. It's like a pip tablet. Let's put on t-shirts and slacks. Oh. Uh. Took a utility belt. Oh. We can get into it now. What is this? Oh, yes, that was awesome. <laughs> Can I get a gun? Oh, no. 
angel lab coat. I don't want any of that. Nine mil rounds. What does this dude have? What is that? He's got a flashlight. Do we have that? Oh, <gasps> we do. Sort of. It's got no power. Uh -oh. The bloody thing won't budge. Hey, nothing, Johnny. You won't need to fuck the clock. Winston, you have a doubt. You got it, boss. Uh huh. Yeah. No power. I can remove it from the main network. But what the fuck's that on the camera? Right outside. Look. It made one of the floors. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Just get us out of here. They'll have to find their own way. Wait, wait. Help. Rerouting to emergency power. Oh, no. Oh, no. All would you look for it. Dude, no flipping way. Do we have a flashlight? This is so much better than Bethesda already. Oh, yes. We crouch. I'm a little bit nervous. There's brain fungus in here. Blood pack, rad X, so pick that. Normally I pick everything up. But I want to play like I'm actually in this situation and I wouldn't actually pick everything up. Mr. Handy Fuel Microscope. At the same time. I also know I'm pretty sure there's gonna be crafting in this. It'd be silly if there wasn't, right? Oh, I didn't even see this. Really need one of you fine people to give me something. I don't really want the mask. Again, that Freemason symbol, man. You gotta stay away from them people. I'm just kidding, if you're... <gasps> Where are you going? I'm leaving. I doubt you'll make it far. Someone such as yourself. The hell does that mean? You were more useful as a lab rat. You can suck it. Warning. 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 But alas, it seems I'm not long for this world. Someone shoot him? It's a shame, really. There was so much I wanted to do. Oh, this dude's creepy. Off you go then. Be seeing you. Oh no. I want to see what happens. He'll be back. He'll be back. We all know that. <laughs> we're not. Oh, we're not stupid. I'm gonna use that as a weapon. Turn that off. That's so cool that we actually have a freaking flashlight. But Desna really needs to learn from that. This is so much better than a vault. Doesn't have much of a range on the flashlight though. <gasps> I'm stuck. I can't move. You are quite the wayfarer, aren't you? Escaping all that hubbub with all you've been 
through, I'm impressed. It seems I neglected to introduce myself. Dude, this gives me like such New Very Vegas vibes. Professional of me. I'm Mr. Smythe. And you? Well, it doesn't matter who you are. Bro, screw you, dude. Now I'm, I'm sure mad you Max. have many questions. And perhaps someday I'll answer them. But for now, Wayfarer, let's not stand on parade. Since I'm all for giving one a sporting chance, I've unlocked the doors. Go. What? Stay safe. And remember, mind the gap. <laughs> Dude, if y'all ever remember the thing back in the day, it was called the Chive. And they might still be going. It was like KCCO. It was like, keep calm and chive on. That's all I can think of when they say that. Mind the gap. You know, that sexy thigh gap. He said run, but... I want a gun. I want something. A bat. don't really know just stupid hats there's some XYZ cleaner I prefer the ABC brand guys I don't really know it's a little early to be saying that I'm just surprised I haven't found like a crowbar or something. There's a lift down there. I think it was a. Might have been something down here though. Hello? Oh, there's a computer. And a telephone. Shard Concierge Terminal. Concierge Marie. Welcome to Shard. Throw the peasants out. Maintenance update. Don't let the mice in. Oh, let's see. Welcome to the Shard, London's premier luxury hotel and residence. We extend our warmest greetings to all guests arriving during this tumultuous time. I can't say that word. Rest assured, your comfort and safety are our top priorities. Please enjoy your stay and do not hesitate to contact our concierge team for any assistance you may require. Thank you for your cooperation. The Shard management team. Throw the peasants out. In light of the ongoing resource war and heightened security measures, is it imperative that we maintain strict access protocols? Please remember that individuals of lower standards or class are not permitted entry into the building under any circumstances. Report any breaches immediately to security personnel. Thank you for your cooperation. Well, these people sound like they're awesome. We are experiencing minor issues with plumbing in several guest rooms on the 12th floor. Maintenance has been informed and is currently addressing the situation. Guests affected have been relocated as per protocol. This needs to be fixed within the week, or you can find yourselves another job and be thrown out with the peasants. Thank you for your attention to this matter. Don't let the mice in. As we continue our valiant defense against unexpected visitors and mice, let's ensure our hotel remains impenetrable. Keep the access points to the shard locked tighter than a jar of war might and report any suspicious characters, human or mice. Pronto. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> I like it. What was that? What just happened? What is this? A camera? A dirty camera. A scalpel. Can I use that as a weapon? Okay, let's uh let's get out of here. Let's go explore. Oh. Going up. Oh. That thing's freaking out. What is this? Ooh, more bobby pins. <gasps> Dude, that was like a... That was...
almost like a giant rat. Nikes. Yeah. I'm about to die. Already? Stop it. Guys, I, I don't. Did I do you I had to have missed something back there? I've had to have missed a bat, a crowbar, something. Oh no. I think I remember how to do this. Yep. Easy peasy. Oh. Do it. Dude, I ain't jumping down there. I have a Molotov cocktail. That's oh, that's all I have. Am I supposed to just jump? Can we pull on that? Look, we're gonna take their meat. Dude, there's no flipping way, man. <laughs> this is like the end of the game right here. Just do it, mod's over. We got you guys, we got you guys good. <gasps> okay. Oh no. Well, guys, I don't, I don't think we're supposed to jump down there. Um, I tried it three times, and there was nothing. So let's just try to go back down and see if there's just something we missed. Oh, you really? Oh my God! What am I doing? Stop it! Lobby. I mean, we come over here. We, we need to recover more of our health. I don't even think we have, we don't even have food, do we? I got a blood pack. I've literally got nothing. I got water, so let's just drink that. Like, yeah, I tried jumping onto that thing. It didn't work. I tried actually hitting the fountain from a different location. That didn't work. We got to be missing something. No freaking way. In the event of a nuclear attack, take shelter in your nearest underground station. Protect and survive. I feel like I'm about to die. Uh-oh. <gasps> Look, there's multiples. Dude, I've got to find a weapon. I mean, there's got to be something. I got a toothbrush. That'll work. I mean, there's a body over there. Uh-oh. Oh my god, I got a stim pack. Oh, 
Uh oh. Oh no. I got one. Ho oh, ho ho. You just thought you could hurt me. I feel like I'm poisoned. Could really use a weapon. Oh, <gasps> there's a cane. I don't know if a cane is a weapon, but there's a cane. Please let me use that. Please let me use that. Please let me use it. Yes. You collect an issue, protect and serve. Trait. Treflogger Square is now permanent. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Those little buggers do some damage. Beers on tap. What do we have here? <gasps> they got a lager. <sighs> Don't really care for pale ale. But I will drink some of that lager. Though I know I said we're a Puritan. But we're going to be a bad Puritan. And we're going to take all of this. Hello, sir. Could you care for some fish and chips? Sorry. Take a ticket. Maybe we can get us out of here. Little jerk. Is that a bird? Can I not take that? What is that? Cherry. Is that food? Oh my god. I'm gonna have so much fun. Look at Oh, we need it. Look, look, look. <laughs> I'm telling you. I mean, at least I got a cane, right? What is that? Uh, there was a mod in Fallout, and I don't remember. What oh God! <laughs> there was a mod in Fallout, and I, was it like called Frost? I don't remember. It was like stupid hard. It did not hold your hand. It's kind of like this. It's like, here you go. Here's no weapons. Just figure it out. Ooh. What do we have here? More tickets? Ooh. I can't open that. How would you put that behind a locked door? It's like teasing me. Ooh. Everything's all red looking. Huh. Oh no! <gasps> oh no! I gotta see what we're And this is where we die. But look at this. It's like, it's got Metro vibes. Like Metro meets Fallout New Vegas. It's pretty neat. Uh oh. Lab rat, whatever those scientists did to you, it took its toll on your body. Until you find a cure for this ailment, you'll take 10% more damage in combat. Further investigation into your origins may lead you to the remedy. Holy crap! That crash left you rattled, and it'll take more than a stim pack to fix this kind of damage. Until you seek out a medical professional, you will deal 10% less damage in combat. What cra Did we crash the train? Oh! Oh no! And 
we have two can we go back hold up hold up now hold up hold up hold up on the mend cure your afflictions well this sucks and now I can't see there's people up here though Hey guys, are y'all friendly? Bloody hell, what was that? <gasps> Sounded painful if you ask me. Better not be those dogs up to something. I swear if it is. Not everything's the dogs, Johnny. You look like shit, mate. You are right. This one just came off the train, boss. Quiet, the both of you. Well, well, well. If it isn't the lab rat, you made it out. That's right, it's the guys. You're in the right state, ain't you? Never had a crash down here before. Uh, <laughs> I'm sitting here in a t-shirt. I'm sitting here in the developer's t-shirt. I didn't realize that. Who the fuck do you think you are? No, I need some water. Of course. Winston. Yeah, enjoy. All right, well, who are you? Name's Gaunt. Sebastian Gaunt. And these dredges are Chill Winston and Johnny Shrapnel. Johnny Shrapnel. Which you can ignore, Johnny. We're the Vagabonds. We're the roughest, toughest, sharpest gang round these parts. Not like the dogs. Snuff it, Johnny. Don't scare away our new acquaintance. So, who are you exactly? Look, dude, I don't even freaking know. You said it. I woke up in a lab. I'm not really sure. I woke up in a lab. There were scientists. Then I got on a train. <laughs> I'm just lost and confused. Please help me. I escaped a lab. I think I'm also a train wreck survivor. All right, let's just go with this Is one. Only the gentry use those trains. Looks like you're the wayfarer now, like the rest of us. I don't know what that means. I don't think I'm a gentry. Wait a minute. You were in that lab fighting those scientists. I know, I've heard your voice. Yeah, he was supposed to be a supply run. We bought the location off someone in Thameshaven. Some old construction papers. Uh... Look, dude, I'm not in good shape, and you, doctor. Ask her, what's this place? Lewisham, or what's left of it. Why are we so far away? <laughs> I'm not in good shape, and you, doctor. Well then, Wayfarer, seems like you've got two choices. You could head down that way to the Thames folk. Ain't exactly pleasant to look at, but appearances can be deceiving. They may even know a thing or two about that lab, seeing as they sold us the location. Otherwise, you can stick it out with me and my mates. We help you out, you help us out. Oh, choices. You know what? I'm gonna stick with you guys. I like your voice. Ace, we could use an extra pair of hands. Can I have a gun? Here, take this for the road. Its best days are behind it. Well, it's... It's not a gun, but... It's better than an old cane. Where do I go? <laughs> Wait, come back. Can I have... I want yours. What do you have? Oh, <gasps> I want that. What's, what's up, dude? Hey, hey. We used to be something, but now... Now what? Where are we, where are we going? First up, there's us. We're the Vagabonds. Used to be big names in South London till a couple of things went awry. Y'all walk so we'll fast? That till later. The cunts who made things go awry okay. are the Isle of Dogs Syndicate. There's a fucking lot of them, and they all walk around with the gentry reserves in their skyrocket, so they've got tickets to burn. They got that bees and honey dancing with the gentry. The gentry rule from their ivory towers, pissing off their pedestals from Westminster. Uh huh. Forget trying to get in there. Those gates are tighter than a duck's arse. That's pretty tight. Why are they so tight, you ask? Because they've got the Tommies to defend them. Powerful enough to take the piece. Too stupid to keep it. Which means the occasional toe rags crop up and have a punt at blighty leadership. This brings me to the dress-up factions. Take your pick. Camelot, the oldie tin man knights in Wandsworth. Or if you fancy painting it black, you've the fifth column tyrants in Tower Hamlets. 
Next on the list, you the twats in the periphery. Hooligans that'll smack you. Beef eaters that'll eat you. Jack tars will stick a cannon up your ass. Roundels in Hackney. Well, they keep to themselves unless you've got a thing against scooters. Miller's men are the slapheads over in Islington. Neighbouring next to them are the Pistols in Camden who wants anarchy in the UK. All of that makes sense. So uh, as life dictates, sure. you should probably stick with us. Know what I mean? The rest you can work out yourself, because I'm tired of monologuing. But yeah, if they shoot at you, they ain't your mate. Guns are more common round here these days, ever since Enfield opened its doors to all and sundry. You'll need to keep your head down. You ain't in that test tube anymore, Sunshine. Now, left, right, left, right. I think they call it walking. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was pretty cool. I really, really enjoyed it. What's that? I want nuke. Oh, no. Stand back up. I just wanted the nuka cherry. <laughs> Come back. Don't leave me. Dude, this is fantastic. The story is already like a hundred times better than there the opening is. to Fallout 4. Station. We've got a small camp across the road. You have a gun the in here. Fuck. <gasps> what? Ricky, what the fuck? What? What's happening? Oh no. They attacked us. Took us by surprise. How many? Let's shine my light in your face. Three. IODs. Fucking dogs. Fuck them all. And what the fuck were they doing here? They. They were. I feel faint. Christ, you're pathetic. Wayfarer, get a first aid kit from Greenwich Station. If you hang around, wouldn't hurt none. Where's the numbers? Where's Greenwich Station? Can I have this person's vagabond outfit? What about this person? A vagabond blazer. <laughs> Sir, I need a gun. That's that's nothing. Oh god. Okay. Where are we going? Well that was flipping cool. Here we go. My flashlight changed. Is it different inside than outside? Oh no. Forgot what I'm doing. I'm, oh, it's in here. I'm silly. Ah! Oh no. That was kind of freaky. Oh, we got a med kit. Ballpeen hammer. Newspaper. I don't know. Ooh, I don't like this. But I keep exploring. Well, maybe that's where I've like would have run to if that thing would have really got a hold of me. <gasps> oh, all right, let's go back. Hey guys, I think I deserve a gun after that. Oh no. You came back. Yeah. Look, I got the Cops first aid kit. Gone. And he was the one with the medical know-how. Don't suppose you could fix me up? Uh. Oh, no. I can put you out of your misery. Unless one happens to walk by, you wouldn't reach one in time. Dude, I can't help you. 
Ah, oh, it ain't your fault. Seems I wasn't supposed to die here. Go to the Swan and Mitre. Give them dogs hell. Oh, dude. Oh, oh no. That sucks, dude. I'm gonna take that from you, though. And... Seriously, like, none of these people had, like, a... What about you? What do you have on? Never mind. We'll take the dog stuff. He said guns are common and we have not seen anything. We've just found ammo. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, we're gonna die so fast. <laughs> ah! Ah! Maybe not. Leeches and a textbook. A gold watch and leeches. What do leeches do? Acid and antiseptic. Okay. Do we go in? Uh oh. Why we put that up? What are we doing? That is very impressive, sir. Can we stop now? Oh, <gasps> there's something in here. How many are in here? One, two, three, four. Okay, we got four bloke flies. here now what is that oh it's a bullet block Aha! that was nothing they're like way up there how do I get up there oh god yeah I got you I can't I can't I can't get up there oh wait yeah, I can Get your stupid larva out of here. There's one more. Oh! We got a shotgun with one round. Totally worth coming in here. <laughs> Look, we even got a bed. A lot of nine mil rounds. It's a lot of things in the way. Oh. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. The souvenir shop of all places. Who'd have thought it hides up in our station? <gasps> Seriously, I've been buying trinkets there for years before the war. How did you find out? A friend on the inside tipped me off. He's an ex jactor He said it connects to the Kaisark. The Kaisark? That's where the real action is. 
I'll hope the Jacktars will have some serious ops from there. <laughs> so that's why this video shop I seem to... Ordinary. It's a perfect front. No one would suspect a thing. Be careful who you talk to about this. We don't want the wrong ears picking up on our little discovery. Trust me, I'm not telling a soul. But this changes everything. Oh, <gasps> yes. The dark station, the cutty sock. We might just be onto something big. Let's keep our eyes and ears open, eh? Who knows what other secrets are lurking beneath the surface? Sweet. Okay. Well, we got some stuff out of here. It was totally worth coming in here. Now, what we get? Okay. We got three rounds for that. So let's put two. Three. What is this? I don't like that. That looks stupid. <gasps> oh my god! should pull our map up I mean it looks like I'm going the right direction it just doesn't feel like I'm going the right direction <gasps> uh oh oh no Do we just find a pirate crew? Please let me kill you. I come for your booty. Hey. I don't know how to get in there. Probably isn't gonna be good. I think I bit off more than I can chew. Dude, I can't hit nothing. Oh, there's a freaking turret. Can't go in that way. All right, we might have to run. That was a mistake. We're just gonna get out of here. You gentry folk have no idea what it's like to struggle. You're disconnected from reality. Hey. And that's why I'm ending this now. What's happening? Enough of these games. Finish him and be done with it. Where you, do anything you ask. Where, just where are your me. hands, sir? My family will reward you. Handsomely. He's crippled. Stay where you are, mate. This ain't your business. Unless you're in the gentry. And then you can join him. I implore you, stranger. Aid me. They tend to end my life. Shut the hell up. But he doesn't have any hands. 
I don't really want to get into this. <laughs> this is your affair, ain't meddling in it. One of us won't be leaving this place. And let it be known that this deceiver is, in fact, a member of the gentry. How do you know? He's been pretending to be poor and empathetic to us. But the truth is, he's a bona fide, blue-blooded, aristocratic gentry arseface. He's probably been sizing our faces up to get cut off, or worked out who will be the best indentured servant. Why the hell would we risk letting this fat cat live? He ain't got no hands. You need to let him go, dude. Bollocks if I know. Maybe he's waiting for the perfect moment to hand us over to those snatchers in the rye. What is this, Harry Potter? They're flipping snatches? Yeah, just kill him. Please spare my life, no! I can't help you, bro. Uh Bravo. <laughs> Another gentry bastard bites the dust. Well, what are these tickets? I'm going to take all these tickets cuz I'm finding them everywhere. I feel like that thing said tickets might be worth something. Like instead of caps, it's tickets. What is happening here? Oh no. Oh, I love mods. They're so fun. I don't know, guys. I hope you like it. It's, it's definitely... It's definitely different. This might just be a fun little episode to shoot. And guys, if you want to play this and you already own a copy of the Game of the Year version of Fallout... Oh, <gasps> there's a deer. It's absolutely free. I'm not going to hurt you, dude. Just... You stay over there. You keep your ugly freaking butt right there. <gasps> right there. I want to pet you. Can I hug you? Yeah, this game's free. It kind of took a little bit to get it working. It'll give you some recommended mods to do, and I would highly recommend it, because apparently if you don't do all of them, there's a chance the game will crash on you. Oh, there's someone down here. Maybe this is the dog people. Because we're... We're like right here at it. Cut the shit. Who is that? It's a hooligan. Well, they're they're not they're not gonna be friendly, so we aren't gonna be friendly. Found you. Oh, I hope I didn't waste ammo. I think I might have wasted ammo. Already wasted enough on those pirates. Crap. They got sexy mannequins, though. Big, busty, sexy mannequins. Pre Ooh, pre-war money. A safe. Oh. Yes. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Got whiskey. We have 50 rounds for this bad boy, though. And how much damage does it do? It does 16. This only does 11. Oh, yes. We are sitting pretty. This is like a beautiful balance, though, of of like Metro the graphics of Fallout 4 with the gunplay of Metro and Stalker 
definitely the feel of Stalker with like the animals walking around like that. If y'all play the um, the original Stalker games, I'm so ready for the second one to come out. But the music, the vibe, oh yes. All right, where are we at? We are, we are almost there. Uh oh, crap, crap. I can't waste my, I can't uh, waste my precious rounds. What is that? Keep moving. Defend the swan. Sleep well in your shallow grave. Have I you and me one on one? I, like, I don't like shooting people in the back. That feels weird. What's over here, though? We gotta go in there? I mean, they, they gun those dudes down. I guess that means we're going in. Come here, you I've been looking for you. Oh, God. All alone. Oh, God. Dude, that dude just came in here and just wrecked me. Someone there. Looks like I found Bang a sneaky like rat. Like no one likes a sneak yeah. coward. Oh. Right quick. Keep moving so I don't have to. Dude, they die so fast. I want your stuff. But I gotta take a stem pack. Okay, now who we gotta talk to? Who's this? Oh, you sound sexy. Hey, you're that fresh face Gaunt mentioned. Oh, look at you flaunting that stuff out and your cute little smile. I have a name, you know. What's it to you? Yeah, I guess that's Good. me. Listen up. We got hit hard just there, but we managed to kill or capture every attacker, except one. I noticed a scout hang back and leg it when things swung our way. If they bring him back up from the Isle of Dogs, we could be toast. I need you to stop them. They look to be beelining for the comm station north of here. I've got someone to trip the power on it remotely, but that'll only hold them so long. Go snuff out the hornet before it brings back the nest. The scout was a young lass. Denim fatigue, spiky hair. Should be easy to spot. Now go. If you need medical attention, I can take a look at you. Oh, but you I can take a miracles. look at me for sure. And wipe those questions off your tongue. We've got no time for that. It's like she knew. I think we're good. All right, we just gotta find. What do you guys got? Switchblade, pinstripe suit, knuckles, syndicate suit. I'll take your cigar. All right, we gotta go, right? Let's go find this guy. All right, they don't look they're too far away. But let's see. All right, maybe we go this way. I don't know. This is where they chased everybody. And they gunned them down. I think you got shot in the butt. Don't know if I'm going the right way or not.
Oh, wait, there's something down there. That is a mutated rabbit. Dude, are those in Stalker? Why do I feel like those are in Stalker? Holy crap! We're gonna be out of flipping rounds before this is over. I know you're in here, puppet. I was going to try to be sneaky, but that wasn't very sneaky. Did I just shoot her in the head? Oh, stop her, lads. I can see her. I can see my mum. <laughs> well, that was, uh... That was interesting. She definitely didn't hear us open the door. She must have had those headphones on. And here you have it. Fallout London. Yes, it's a bit janky, but no different than any Bethesda game. And yes, I totally just went there. Nevertheless, if you enjoy this kind of content and you'd like me to continue this series, then just smash that like button or consider leaving me a small comment. Guys, gals, thank you so much for your love and your support. You are absolutely fantastic. We are getting closer and closer to a thousand and I'm getting excited and we wouldn't be here without you. But for now, stay frosty, stay mad, and I'll see you all in the next one.